What's up, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. Woo! Yeah. Coming up soon, Again. we'll be at a hundred episodes. Why? Now, why are you laughing? You're not even <laughs> just because. <laughs> His sarcastic subtext. All right. I'm nine. This is nine. My name's Will. I'm James. This is James. Um, <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> we're slowly <laughs> losing our minds. We will get there. Today, we're going to be talking about Microsoft and GDC, uh, digital trade-ins and that kind of thing, PlayStation 4.5, Pokemon Tournament, and survival horror games and the VR and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Woo! yeah. It's going to be great. Ouch. Um, and maybe at our 100th uh, episode, we'll have like dancers. Four weeks away. Yeah, four weeks away. Episode yeah. 100. Dancers? Nice. Yeah. Dancers? <clears throat> I'd be okay week. with it. Maybe not everyone, though. <laughs> Depends on the dancers. We gotta get an even mix of dancers. That's the <laughs> yeah. trick. If we have male dancers, we, we can probably have both. solve the situation. Male dancers. That's, dance. the, that's the key. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's that's it. It. You know, I don't know how strong that table is, but you know, <laughs> we can reinforce it. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Which leads me to the actually what we want to talk about. Microsoft and GDC, uh, GDC Games Development Conference is pretty awesome. Yeah, you like got it. you and your one move. <laughs> <laughs> it's really about the charisma that he brings yeah, to the table. Yeah, sure. so. um, yeah. Microsoft, yeah, Microsoft GDC. GDC. They had, a, I mean, GDC uh, Games Development Conference. They have most some breaking news there, mostly about the hardware and mostly stuff like that. Stuff, yeah. But we actually want to talk about uh, the other thing that happened. I guess either afterwards, the or, awkward party situation, or during, <laughs> or whatever, whenever it was. But uh, Microsoft did a party. Time. Uh, I guess at GDC, and apparently they had some some dancers. Scandalous. Questionable dancers. Questionable dancers. Scandalous. What'd you guys hear? Uh, well, I saw pictures. I saw the pictures on Twitter, <laughs> and a lot of people were not liking the way they yeah. were dressed. A lot of a lot of angry tweets there about being uncomfortable. My favorite one is: Is this a rock? Uh, is this a Grand Theft Auto party or it's a Microsoft party? That's exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah I told Will as soon as I saw like. it. I was like, I was like, this looks like. I said to him, in all actuality, I was like, this looks like a GTA strip club. Like yeah. you walk in, you know, the purple lights and everything. The pigtails. Yeah. And the bright lights and mm -hmm. the green. And it's just different. I mean. Uh, I mean, I would have liked to been invited, but you know, other than that, <laughs> Phil came out and they apologized. I mean, they they said, yeah, this kind of. This is not the way we see the industry. This is a very bad mistake, and we don't. We won't. An unequivocal again. failure. Yeah, was like that, I'm that, pretty sure. Thank you. I yeah. was trying to. I couldn't remember the words he used. Which was great, though. I thought words, those were great I word choices. Words in my yeah. head, so. That was two five dollar words stacked up yeah. to a ten dollar yeah. phrasing. It's a ten dollar word, right? Yeah. There. yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what we're talking about, but <laughs> going, going back to the thing, Phil issued an apology, and Phil, we love you, but good for him for stepping up and saying something. But you know, it was just different. Some people were taken aback by it, and you know, it's just a little uncommon in the video game scene. Yeah, I yeah. guess not, not, not good. I think it is awesome that the Phil stepped up and said yeah, something. Yeah, I mean. You know. Silence is the worst answer, and you know. Some people, I'm better. sure, couldn't care less, but um, you know. Whatever. It is what it is. It's water under the bridge. Sure. Move on. Yeah. But that was a thing. Go check it out. Um, <laughs> that was a thing. Go check it out. So, by the way, you're watching, listen to Press Start TV. My name's Will. It's Nine. Yep. It's James. Okay, guys, let's talk about digital trade-ins. Uh, Microsoft recently put out a survey asking people if they would be interested in trading in their digital purchases. Yeah, <laughs> it's about my response. Would you guys be into that? Uh, yeah, ten percent uh, back for your digital acquisitions. Let's say. Yeah. Uh, so if that was a sixty dollars price point when you originally bought it, you can get six dollars back. If you don't like math, that also means if you bought it for thirty dollars, you would get three dollars back. It kind of seems like a very small kickback and infantile and just not even Compared worth to it. What you would get for a sixty dollars game traded in at a brick and mortar store? Yeah. On the two. It's it's a big slap in the face. Now, I delete games off my hard drive all the time, but I like it because I retain that license. So if I ever get yeah. the hair up my butt to be like, hey, Witcher three, I'm gonna go back at you again for like the third time, I can do that. Yeah. And not just give it away for six dollars. Game's too good for that. Yeah. But I like yeah. my physical media too. Yeah. Yeah. I something about. I mean, I, I love what digital content Don't does. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I love yeah. digital games. I mean, I mean, some games you can't get physical media. And, and I love updates. And some and games I love that should be physical. Some games that should be physical, and probably vice versa. But I mean, something about. I, I like the direction in which, especially indie games, you know, obviously this is going to yeah. be bigger and bigger and bigger. Games are going to be bigger and bigger and bigger, yeah. the whole industry. But I just don't like that idea of 
reselling digital, digital merchandise. Uh, just something about that market. And again, I think we talked about this a couple times. You don't want to, well, you know, it's like CDs or DVDs. I mean, people still have that option. Some people prefer, obviously, the digital music. You know, they yeah. just want their device to have it all on there. It's easier, yeah. Since I've gotten Way accustomed to it, carry around yeah. that big book of CDs, <laughs> which binder. I have, yeah. or, or I still yeah. use. Or yeah. on your movies, some people just, you know, no, can... I gotta have physical movies. Can, yeah. Well, some people I gotta have can my just, DVD uh, rack looking nice. can go and download a movie to rent or buy or whatever yep. it is. But then m they, most people still opt for that physical medium, right? We know we all had that old CD binder that would double as like a personal defense device if everyone's yeah, yeah. breaking yeah. your vehicle. Yeah. Get out of my car. Yeah, everybody's got that. <laughs> yeah. Just hit him in the face with hoopa stank over and over again. Like, just That's the stop. only use for that CD, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I like hoops. to throw up a hoopa stank reference whenever I can. I don't love hoopa stank. Yeah. It's just a I great like a couple of their songs. That's yeah. about it. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just went totally off the wall, yeah. but you know, whatever. I'm good. That's I'm what so, we're here for. I'm so good for that. What were we talking about again? No, okay. So yeah, digital trading. I just, again, some people like that. I just like the idea of having the options. I just don't say, I say don't push it because people might get mad. Yeah, you know? and they're just putting their toe in the water. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm almost sure. That, it's a but, survey. Yeah. It, it's Hopefully everybody it's said no. That's all yeah. It is. yeah. Probably a lot of people were just going yes, 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 or yes. Just, shut up, survey. I yes, would say you know. I would say no. Yeah. Um, and how dare you for asking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you may not have my things, and <laughs> I reproach you for asking. Me. Yes. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Continuing on. Continuing on. Anyway, um, when we get back, we're going to talk about PlayStation 4.5. Um, yes, that is a possible thing. Pokemon tournament and survival horror. Once again, you're watching Listen to Press Start TV. We'll be back right after this. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, PlayStation 4.5. And I know what you're saying. What? what? Are you talking Fair about? Um, so recently, Microsoft what? came out. and. I'm not going to introduce this again. Sure. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yo. This is James. Hey, yo. And you're watching Listen to Press Start TV. Thank you. I was I was going to try to remain anonymous, but it's cool. Everybody knows. So. You're anonymous? Yeah. My name's Will. This is Nine. This is Anonymous. How's it going? What's up? <laughs> My bad tag. <laughs> All right. PlayStation 4.5. Uh, Microsoft came out and, and basically said that they would be upgrading uh, their their consoles are giving uh, players the chance to upgrade their physical hardware much like a PC that kind of thing just additions add-ons that kind of thing to make their gaming experience better um, I don't know exactly what that entails for from Microsoft but what Sony has come out I don't and think said we know either. I don't think yeah, knows. yeah yeah I mean what does that mean you know um, yeah. Sony has come out and said um, that they might be doing the same thing jumping on that I don't want to call it bandwagon, but they might be introducing a similar idea or components to which they will support 4K gaming and more VR support to make that experience better. I'm totally okay with that. I'm okay with it as long as I get a premium on my original PlayStation 4 console to trade in towards right. this new console. It's like, I don't want to be like, all right, this new console is 400 bucks. I'm only going to get $100 and trade in for mine. Yeah. Do you need a new console or is it just like an add-on? No, this is a whole new console. Whole new console. So according yeah. to developers, uh, talking to Kotaku last week, this is a new, more powerful version of the PS4. It's got a faster processor and more G a better GPU in it to help alleviate the stress for the VR and push towards 4K gaming. Yeah. Which they'll and need both of those things to accomplish 4K gaming. I would love to see my console's life cycle extended. Amen. You know what I mean? Like, I miss the 10-year life cycle that Do, do you still feel you have your PlayStation 4 if you have to then go out and buy a PlayStation 4? Like Nine said, if I'm getting a premium mm -hmm. on yeah. what I already have, like if there's some kind of Sony-sponsored like program. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do yeah. it. Mm. Yeah. Then I'm fine with paying like a little bit of extra right. to get that next system. To, you know, upgrade it to the yeah. next model. If I'm trading my PS4 in for like a hundred dollars and then I gotta pay like I'm a whole like, nother like no, four hundred, five hundred, yeah, then I'm gonna be pretty peeved about yeah. it. Yeah. You know? I, I but know I'm such you. an addict, you know, and I'm gonna do it anyway and complain <laughs> later. <laughs> Me too. You know what I mean? Like that's my problem. I'm like, like somebody should boycott these people. Too bad I can't. Here's my money. If it comes out this fall alongside the VR, I'm gonna be like, that's I'm gonna be spending nine hundred dollars on a new console and VR. Nine hundred dollars. Yeah. See well, it's still cheaper yeah. than the Oculus. Um, Nines, hundreds of dollars. Well, if well you, by yeah. the time you pay for a rig, yeah. 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 You're looking at two grand for that. Easily. Yup. Uh, anyway, um, so 
let's talk about 4K gaming. Is that even a thing, or is that on like, PC? Are we gonna? Are yeah. we, so are they for producing the games with PC that kind players of? with massive rigs can run games of 4K? I, I have mean, a friend who does it. And he doesn't only does the game it it have can. to be developed as no. such? It doesn't. No, because PC games use resolution. They don't set a locked frame rate for resolutions. Mm. Yeah, I don't know much about it. But it, it mm. PC gaming is far different in the way their visuals are set up. Yeah. So far and wide different. And they can augment pretty much everything within the game itself to like yeah, come with better performance but or it's better like a, setting. It's, it's, yeah. it's like the, in the consoles, um, if a game is developed 720p, there it is. If a game is developed 1080p, I mean, it is a difference. It's a recognizable yeah. difference. Now, a game developed fully with the intention on being a 4K game, yeah, that's 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 not, that's gonna be unreal. It's gonna be awesome. So I mean, I mean, you're still gonna need a 4K TV. Or you're watching Listen that's to Press awesome. Start TV. We're talking about PlayStation 4.5 ish. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is James. Hello. It's anonymous. Losing all my money. No, no. <laughs> yeah. It's um, not gonna answer James anymore. Yeah, episode. I mean, you've seen everybody's walked into a bar. Fill in the. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, what was I saying? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, everybody's walked into like a store, like a like a Best Buy or a Walmart or Circuit City, a, a big box yeah. store. They saw all the TVs. Radio Shack. They saw the display where it's like a 4K TV oh, yeah. display. Those Ultra HD TVs are gorgeous. Now yeah. can you imagine? Everybody asking, where are we going to see gaming in the next? Having a game developed like that? Yeah. <sighs> man, that's going to be cool, man. Yeah. Times that by VR. <sighs> but you know, if you buy a 4K TV, it'll make your 1080p games faster and better. According to the dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, you're going <laughs> going Get you a better refresh rate, man. Uh, it does it. I've seen it do it. <laughs> your system's and even, even your GameCube oh, games. Oh, God. That guy at Best Buy. Oh, just, sorry. Sorry. We had to call, call that guy out. Uh, he was a sales rep at a store. Anyway, I mean, he's doing what he can. Yeah, there. I'll call him out. I don't care. <laughs> it was uh, it was pretty ridiculous. But I'm just saying, you know, if if you can see a game like that, I, I'm just picturing like that display when I walk in and look at it, and everybody it's like on the Discovery Channel. Yeah. You're like, oh, cool. I can yeah, watch the Discovery. Yeah, pre-rendered like beautiful yeah. scene. Like those are 4K videos for that TV. It's like when am like I when am I going to be able to watch yeah. the content that I love like with that? that? Yeah. When are we going to be able to film this show? When can I watch case? Trailer Park Boys in full HD? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Actually, Netflix does have 4K support now. Oh, nice. Yeah. I but have 4K I, TV I just, still. You know, I, We're not a 13-year-old TV. So, so the PlayStation 4.5 is yeah. saying that they might be able to... It might but support they, that? They, they're saying that they will be able to do it. There's a lot of people out there that say, no, it's not going to happen. Because they touted both Xbox One and PS4 both touted that they could be supporting 4K Blu-ray support, and Xbox One said that they would be able to do 4K gaming, and so far neither one has come anywhere close to either. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so I mean. it depends on how much of a jump in performance this gets them, but it also makes you wonder if they're jumping that far in performance on this, why aren't they just doing PlayStation 5? You know, maybe that's... They're only Two years into this lifestyle. Yeah, that thing. I think that's a big so, thing. Like they would just anger people if they did that. You know, four point yeah, five is kind of oh yeah, easing I think it on. Maybe the PlayStation Five has a eight um, K setting. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's already a thing. You but, laugh like I made it up. No, eight K is a real thing. <laughs> so, but maybe you have more advanced hardware to be able to support that kind of look. I would love to see four K gaming. I'm a little skeptical about it. Yeah. Because that's gonna. Just you're gonna go from 50 gig All installs right. to like 100 gig installs. Yeah. All right. When we get back, we're gonna now. be talking about survival horror and paranormal activity, all kinds of fun stuff. Right after this. Hey, welcome back. Uh, we howdy, just got done talking. Huh? Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. We just got done talking yell. about. Microsoft GDC and some other stuff, PlayStation 4.5, 4K gaming and VR support. Let's talk about uh, VR support a little bit more, but with the survival horror. Which, you were talking to me earlier, paranormal activity was like... Yeah, thing. so GDC Rift was, uh, Rift or Vive, one of the two, I don't remember which one, was demoing the paranormal activity movie, the game. Tell me about and this. It, it, 
It's essentially okay. You, you, everybody knows the paranormal activity. Yeah, the movie yeah, yeah. Is, right? Never heard it's of like it. Five of them. It, <laughs> yeah, it, there's, there's, they're, they're like the Saw movies. One. Dude, after yeah, that yeah, first one, man. That first I'm not gonna one's great. lie. I loved yeah. the first one. I mean, it's just like I that was Saw. You watch Saw, the first Saw. I know, like, yeah, oh, this is awesome. This is and by two or three, you're just awesome. like, I love where this is going. My wife and I both like could not really. We both woke up like more times than we should probably have after watching that. What paranormal activity? Yeah, the first one. Did you see one of the last ones where the they were using the Xbox One Connect as like a a huge oh, plot yeah. point. Yeah, that was hilarious yeah. to me, and like I a great, it. I great seen advertising. It, but I heard about it because of the infrared sensors in it. It was creepy though. Yeah, because you saw that the green lights, mm -hmm. everything, and then you saw <laughs> the figure moving through them, and I was just like, oh god, we're never getting a connect now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it could see the ghosts. Yeah, kill or maybe we should have a connect. Kill fire. Yeah. yeah. No. So, um, the, the people behind the movie decided to make a interactive game for the Rift. Or Vive or whichever one, it'll work on either one, I'm sure. Mm. And it was scaring the pants off of people at GDC. That's awesome. Like to the point people would like like it shows video, like we were talking on the podcast yeah. of like people just like tripping over stuff and throwing <laughs> stuff around. Yeah. So this my favorite one is this woman. She's standing there, she's got the headset on, and you just see her like looking around and you can't see what she's looking at. It doesn't there's yeah, no yeah. screen to show you what she's looking at. So she's just looking around. And she looks behind her, like she creeps over her shoulder, and she just goes <laughs> and throws the headset <laughs> against the wall. Up, man. And I just laugh so hard because it's so like you. This is the kind of thing that's going to happen. Someone's going to break five hundred dollars worth of machinery. Oh, I, I just yeah. have to like pad fear. my walls. Yeah. yeah. In my house, if I ever play a survival horror game with yeah. the, the VR, you have to like duct tape it to your head. By so the way, just, uh, just a in. quick plug: go to pressstarttv.com and listen to the checkpoint. We do a whole thing about this. Oh yeah. One of the things we talked about is like, you remember when the Wii came out? Yeah. And, and mm -hmm. there was like all the YouTube videos start popping up where people are like doing the motion thing and yeah. like they throw it into their TV, it their TV falls and Mostly breaks. the tennis one because yeah. they get yeah. in there and the baseball one, they're getting and swinging and it's just, just flying across, fly up, shatters and just yeah. <laughs> brand new TV. Oh my God. Like, so, you know, the internet kind of lit up with all these hilarious videos. Dude, I'm telling you. Oh, this, I, I cannot wait. <laughs> Photo bombs, people yeah. messing with each other on these. Yeah, VR we talk about people just pulling other people's pants down and yeah. then they go to run. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's gonna be great. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Now I have seen some of the clips from Paranormal Activity VR, but it's a it, game. It, it's a game. Okay. It, well, from what I can gather, it looks like an interactive game, kind of like PT. Yeah. It's That's not really a full game. It's just like this interactive, like scare the pants off yourself kind of demo. Yeah. And dude. There's some creepy stuff yeah. in there. Yeah. Like, if you're afraid of paranormal activity, you're going to be petrified of putting this thing on. We're talking about uh, survival horror games on the VR headsets, the Oculus, the Vive, the PlayStation VR, all that kind of stuff. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. It's James. Hey. So, I mean, Nine, you've come out and said before that you would just not play some of oh, these survival I, no. horror games. I have would a hard enough play? time yeah. playing them. Are yeah. you going to shy away from an experience if it's that scary and messes with you that much? No, I like to be scared. Yeah, yeah. I love kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I like conquering fears. Like, I mean, I've talked to you about it before. Like, Dark Souls and Bloodborne are like essentially like two of the games that actually scare me more than any like in the last few years. Just Unknown sometimes. death awaits you at every corner. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, and it's just like they, they do, they did like tests or whatever to better like design towards that like people's oh, yeah. fears like some people have a fear of heights i don't at all oh, yeah. but certain insects and like slimy things i don't like slimy things so when i fight stuff in dark souls That's like slimy. the first time i fight it yeah i freak out like really bad oh, and then i'm like okay i'm gonna have to fight this mob if there's one of them it's dark souls there's gonna be like a hundred more past this yeah. point oh, yeah. i just start being like you're gonna do this james and i just run all in right. and i do it yeah <laughs> run and, and i die and, and right, I, you got it this time run in and die i find myself hours later facing the same mob that gave me the will earlier and I'm just like ha ah. got you, you know uh, here, here's my thing though yeah. I honestly th I mean listen this this pro these products are gonna be out on the consumer market anybody can buy them right and I honestly think some people are gonna be literally scared to death. Oh, yeah, I absolutely I am, I'm think totally that. like yeah. yeah that's gonna be a problem I it's gonna absolutely happen. think it's yeah. going to happen and I hope that developers don't shy away from just how scary can you make it I have because a feeling some people they might when the death toll rises yeah i, I, well, I, I, I have I mean, a feeling yeah. there's going to be some kind of judicial system come down and be like look 
you got to keep this within a certain realm of stress for players because if you stress, well, the that, warnings. There's going to be more warnings because you, oh, know, we, you yeah. have the epileptic warnings at the beginning of everything oh, sure. now. Because if that you have a heart condition, sure. don't play this game. Yeah, and a yeah. lot of survival horror games do that already. Yeah. Um, PT in the credits says if you have a heart disease, do not play this yeah. game. Yeah. Granted, it's in the credits, but you know. Now listen, there's no. There's <laughs> You're already dead. You didn't get to see this. <laughs> you died before you got yeah. here, fool. Yeah. yeah. There's no. There's no doubt that those warnings should be. Readily available, oh, yeah. of course, but I don't think I don't want to see a developer shy away from like just <laughs> how scary it could be because it's all about some people. Yeah, right. Want yeah. want the well, like I don't care how many people they kill. Us. They I want, want them to keep they stay want the course. The they just <laughs> they just scarier. want the yeah. They just want that like <laughs> well, immersion is kind of yeah. like one of the biggest factors in horror. That's what scares me the most. Yeah, is the immersion yeah. factor of yeah. VR. And this and is what scary. VR is in general is just bringing the immersion level of games, movies and everything to its pinnacle. PT so gives isn't that bringing horror to its pinnacle as well? Like the coupling of those two together could just bring us to a whole new all, thing. All four it's be awesome. Idea, but yeah. it, it it literally scares the pants off. We're gonna have like a we're gonna have like a support group for you too. Like me and Will. Oh, gonna gonna like, I'm there's gonna be like an emergency button. There's like we get like a call at my house. Too scared. Too scared. Too scared. Yeah. <laughs> just like he's just bouncing. I need somebody to sit room. outside my room tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just seeing. Uh, I'm just picturing you sitting on your couch or something playing. There's a, a, a sound or something behind you in the game. You turn around, and it's like right there, and you just like throw yeah. your headset. Yeah. We'll see what happens. But anyway, that's going to be some crazy, crazy stuff. Um, oh. Some of these prices are already announced. There's uh, PlayStation VR is doing a $500 bundle, and a $400 just regular headset coming in October. Yeah. Um, we'll give you other prices later. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate. It. Check out PressStartTV.com. Until next time, we'll see you guys. Peace. Later.